to worship Allah with such a thing be it a statement or an action or a belief this is called bid'ah and that is why as Muslims we should endeavor to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with only what he has approved in the Quran and what the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has explained to us. This will take us to a hadith in Muwatta of Al Imam Mali. This hadith is also in Sahih Muslim. Likewise, Al Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah ta'ala recorded it in. And all. Likewise, Al Imam Ahmad recorded it in his book Al Musnad. Al Imam Al Bukhari recorded it in Juz Al Qira'a Khalf Al Imam. And some other reporters of a hadith, Abu Dawood, and some others, they recorded this hadith that you are going to. Read, inshallah. However, we are going to take that off Al Imam Malik Rahimahullah Ta'ala in his work Al Muwatta because it is an abridged version of it. It goes straight to the area that you want to talk about. 
There was a companion called Muawiyah ibn Hakam as Sulami. Radiallahu anhu. He said, Ataytu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I came to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fakultu ya Rasulullah. I said, O Messenger of Allah, Inna jariyatan li kana tera ghanaman li fajituha wa kot fukidat shatun min al ghanam. He said, O Messenger of Allah, a slave girl of mine was rearing some sheep and goats on my behalf. He said, when I came to her, وَقَدْ فُقِدَ الشَّاتُ مِنَ الْغَنَمِ One of the sheep was missing. فَسَحَلْتُ عَنْهَا So I asked her concerning the missing sheep. فَقَالَتْ And she said to me, أَكَلَ أَذِيبُ it has been devoured by the wolf. Fasif Jaleha. I was angry with her. I was not happy with her. Wakun to me by the Adam. And I am one of the children of Adam. Alayhi salatu was salam. The master said he was angry with the slave girl. Who had allowed one of the sheep to go missing? Who had allowed one of the sheep to be devoured by a wolf? So the master said, I wasn't happy with her. I was aggrieved. So he said, and I'm one of the children of Adam, alayhi salatu salam. Falatom to watch aha. So I slapped her. I slapped her. For her to have allowed a wolf to devour one of the sheep. Falatom to watch aha. Wa alayya rakabatu. The man said, and I have a rakaba that is a slave to be freed. Can I free her? فَقَالَ لَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ The Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم asked the man to bring the lady, to bring the slave girl. When the man brought the slave girl, so the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Messenger of Allah said to the girl Ain Allah Where is Allah? Faqalat fi sama The girl responded Allah is up Faqala man ana Messenger of Allah followed it with another question Man ana Who am I? Faqalat anta rasulullah the lady or the girl said, You are the message of Allah. Fakala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a'tiqa. Message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Release her, set her free. In some of the reports, it said, A'tiqa fa inna a mu'mina, set her free. She is a believer. Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam wanted to know whether the lady is a believer or not. So he asked the master to bring her. And when the master brought the lady, look at the questions. The messenger of Allah put to, to her, "Ain Allah, where is Allah?" And her response was that fi sama Allah is up. Man ana who am I? The lady said, what Rasulullah, you are messenger of Allah. 
And the Messenger of Allah sallam, said, Atika fa inna mu'mina. Set her free. She is a believer. If you go back to Sahih Muslim or Muslim of Al Imam Ahmad, the hadith is very lengthy. It is this uh, Muawiyah ibn al Hakam Sulami, radiallahu anhu, that was praying together with the other companions behind the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa and somebody sneezed and the person said Alhamdulillah and Mu'ayy ibn al-Hakam said Yarhamukallah for somebody who sneezes why he is in prayer there is nothing wrong in he is saying Alhamdulillah he can say Alhamdulillah and if somebody sneezes and he says Alhamdulillah the teaching of Islam is that you that hear what he has said, that is, you that hear him say Alhamdulillah, you are also expected to say Yarhamukallah, meaning, may Allah have mercy on you. So that is the general teaching. But this is not applicable while you are in Salah. What is only applicable is that when you are in Salah, and you sneeze, you are expected to say Alhamdulillah. But the one who hears you should not say Yarhamukallah. Because when you say Alhamdulillah, you are glorifying Allah. This is Zikru. You are remembering Allah. But when the other person says Yarhamukallah, he is addressing you. May Allah have mercy on you. It's like he's talking to you. Why the world says Alhamdulillah? It's like what? It's addressing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is not okay for one to say Alhamdulillah for the one who sneezes and says Alhamdulillah in salah. So the one who sneezed said Alhamdulillah. The other companions had understood the message. But this man, Mu'awiyah al Hakam, did not understand the message. So what did he say? He said, Yarhamukallah. So the people were not comfortable with what he had said. The people were not comfortable with what he had said. So it's like they were looking towards him or beating their ties, trying to silence him. So the man was not comfortable with the gaze of the people who are looking towards him. And he said, why are you people looking at me? He talked again. So the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam corrected the man after this. That in the salah, this prayer, this salah, Anything that has to do with you addressing another person in Salah is not permissible. You do subhanallah, you praise Allah, and you recite the Quran while in Salah. So this companion said, the Prophet sallam, he had not seen a teacher better than him. He said he did not shout at him, nor did he rebuke him. He only told him this, explained to him this. What I'm trying to say here is that it was his same companion that also had his experience of slapping a slave girl because the slave girl allowed a wolf to go away with one of the, the sheep or with one of the goats so he was not comfortable with what he did he felt bad so and he wanted to set free a slave so he had to ask the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa about that and the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said Go and bring the slave girl. And when the slave girl was brought, 
the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked her these questions. Ain Allah, where is Allah? She said, Fi sama, Allah is all. Man ana, who am I? She said, Rasulullah, you are Messenger of Allah. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, Atika, set her free. Fa inna amumina, she is a believer. A lot of people today, if they were to be asked, Ain Allah, where is Allah? Some will tell you that Allah is everywhere in His essence. Allah is everywhere in His essence. This answer is what is wrong. In fact, some people will tell you not that Allah is everywhere in His essence. They will tell you that they are Allah, and Allah is they. As one of them said, that Anna man ahwa, woman ahwa Anna. I'm the one that I love, and the one that I love is me. Nanu ruhani, we are two souls. Halanya badanan that has that are fallen into a single body. We are two souls. That are falling into a single body. Find the absurdity when you see me or you look at me. Absurdity, you have seen him. What is the absurdity? If you see him, absurdity, you have seen us. These some of those who have gone overboard among the Sufi people, you see them saying this: "Ana man ahwa, woman ahwa, ana." Then, after some uh, lines, he said, Why the absortani? Absortau. Why the absortani? Why the absortau? Absortana. So, some people they tell you everything is Allah, they are Allah. And that's why some of them they tell you they are doing terbiya. When you join some of the Sufi sects, they tell you what is this. If you say this is the answer, they tell you to continue with what you are reading. They give you special thing to be reading. Eh? So they tell you go and read this. And after a while, come to us. So after a while, if you come back to them, they ask you, what is this? And you say this is the answer. They say continue. Continue to read what you have given to you. Until you can say this is God. This is Allah. And when you say this is Allah, then they believe that what? You have arrived. You have arrived. So you continue to chant that vehicle that you are doing until you are able to see everything as Allah. And Allah is everything. So that's why that man was able to say, "Ana man ahwa, woman ahwa, ana na muruhani halat na badana. Faida absorta u absortani. Faida absorta u. Faida absortani absorta u. Faida absortani absorta u absortana." So he was able to say that, wanting you to see everything as Allah. When you see me, you see him. When you see him, you see us. They are all the same. So don't be surprised when you see somebody say, "I am Allah." I am Allah, as some people have claimed. So this is where it's coming from. This is the statement of Al Halaj. Another one also said that is a uh, Ibn Arabi. He also said something that is worse than this. He said, "Wama al-kalbu wal-khinziru illa ilahuna, wama Allahu illa raibun fi kanisati." He saw a dead pig. Later, he saw a dead dog. He was not telling his followers, "Wama al-kalbu wal-khinziru." This dead pig 
And this dead dog, they are our God. وَمَا الْكَلْبُ وَالْخِنْزِيرُ إِلَّا إِلَاهُنَا وَمَا اللَّهُ إِلَّا رَائِبٌ فِي كَنِيسَتِ And Allah is nothing other than the one who is what? Who is in the church. That is that pastor, so to say, in the church is Allah. And Allah is that pastor. So everything to them is Allah and Allah is everything. They believe Allah has descended in everything. And this is what they call them Al-Hululiyah. The people who believe Allah has descended in everything. Now, when you compare what people are saying with what the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam Ask this little girl, Aina Allah, where is Allah? The little girl said, What? Fi Sama, Allah is up. Man Anna, who am I? The little girl said, said What? Rasulullah, you are messenger of Allah. Meaning, there is difference between Allah and His messenger, and there is difference between Allah and His creatures. Contrary to those who believe they are worshipping Allah by seeing everything as Allah. They are worshipping Allah by calling themselves Allah. So when you see people displaying things like this, don't be disturbed. This is where they are coming from. They have borrowed the Akira of Ibn Arabi. The belief of Ibn Arabi. The Akira of al halaj who believe everything is Allah and Allah is everything. Some of them, they went to the Eastern that They say, oh, the women are halal. There is no difference between your mother and your daughter or your wife. They are all women. So we are all everything. We are all the same. So somebody can sleep with his mother, can sleep with his daughter, can sleep, which is just the way he can sleep with his wife. They are all the same thing. So you see some people displaying this. Why some people on the other hand, they say Allah is not up. And Allah is not down. Allah is not in front. It's not at the back. It's not at the right. Nor is it, nor is he and the left. Why is Allah? They say Allah is nowhere. Allah is nowhere. So some people they went overboard by saying what? Allah is everywhere in his essence. And some people also what? Counter them by saying Allah is nowhere. But you go back to the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said what? Sad bisma rabbikal a'la. Glorify your Lord. Al-A'la, the eyes. Why you are in sujood? You say what? Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Glory be to my Lord, the eyes. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us know that He is up above the throne. Ar-Rahmanu ala al-Arsh is tawa. Allah is up Above the throne. The kursi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encompasses the heavens and the earth. Amin tun man fi sama an yaksifa bikumul arch. Do you feel safe from the one that is up? That it, cause, it causes the earth to tremble so that you people will be swallowed by the earth. So Allah say, Fisama, the one that is up. And that was why Messenger of Allah wanted to test a slave girl whether she is a believer or not. He asked her this question, Ain Allah, where is Allah? And she responded, Fisama. 
Allah is all. So when we ask where is Allah, we say what? Is Sama. Don't ever say Allah is everywhere in his essence. Allah is everywhere in his knowledge. That is, his knowledge encompasses everything. But the essence of Allah is what? Up above the throne. For you to say Allah is everywhere in his essence, that Akida is Kufu. That statement is Kufu. The one who utters such a statement is not a Muslim. For you to say Allah is everywhere in his essence. And for one to say Allah is nowhere, that one is even worse. And that's why some people, they say there is no Allah, there is no God. There is no God. So those who say that Allah is nowhere, their statement is like the statement of those who do not believe in the existence of God. We know there are some people today who are called the atheists. The atheists will tell you there is no God. And they will tell you religion is opium of the people. You are just making yourself to go through sufferings. There is nothing like what? Religion, your salah, nothing, not do all these things. What should you do? You should be following your desire. Whatever, whatever your soul dictates to you is what you do. And that's why you see some of them will come out to tell you, I'm a free thinker. I'm a free thinker. Meaning I do not believe in the existence of God. I don't worship anything. But the blunt truth is that he worships a desire. There is nobody, as we said, except that he worships one thing or the other. Is that he's worshipping his desire? Or is worshipping one thing or the other? So these people, they call themselves Muslims. And when you ask them, they say, what well, Allah is not up, is not down, is not in front, is not in the back. It's not at the right side, nor the left side. Why is Allah? They say Allah is nowhere. Allah is nowhere. And that was why one of them was invited to a debate before one of the rulers in person of Mahmoud Subukti King. This ruler was listening to his debate with the debate of the other person who was tackling him. And the ruler said, if you say Allah is not up, it's not down, it's not in front, not at the back, not at the sides, if somebody is asked to describe what does not exist, it cannot describe it better than this. Describe what does not exist. You say Allah is not up, it's not down, it's not in front, it's not at the back, not at the side. Where is Allah? What you are saying directly is that Allah does not exist. What has driven these people to say this statement is that they believe that if you say Allah is existing, or Allah is somewhere, if you say Allah is somewhere, maybe up, it means a creation of Allah is accommodating Allah. And a creation of Allah must not accommodate Allah. Hence, you have to say Allah is no way. It's no way. And this is against verses of the Quran that you have quoted. It is against what the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa asked that slave girl. Ain Allah. She said, for Samah. So these people, they are worse off. Likewise, those who believe Allah is everywhere in his essence. Allah is in the toilet. Allah is everywhere in his essence. That is the essence of Allah is everywhere. This Akida itself is also what? It's Kufu. So some of us, who may fall victims of these people, either this group or this group. But the correct Akida is when you are asked, where is Allah? Allah is up. That is the Akida, the belief that the fitra, the human nature, establishes. You look up. Huh? Allah is up. In his essence. But the knowledge of Allah is everywhere. It encompasses everything. People who say Allah is everywhere in his essence, if you ask them, they say this is the right belief. You are not a Muslim 
if you know have this belief. Those who believe Allah is nowhere, they say this is the right belief. If you believe Allah is somewhere, they believe you are not a Muslim. But how do we know which one is what is the right belief that you worship Allah with? You go back to the Quran, you go back to the Sunnah. So what we have in the Quran is Allah is up. What we have in the Sunnah is that Allah is up. Not Allah is everywhere in this essence. Yes, the knowledge of Allah is everywhere. There is nothing that is hidden from Allah. But the essence of Allah is up. So that's why you look at the pious with the scissors. This is the motto of Imam Malik that you have read. Al Um of Ashafi. Likewise, Al Kira Khalf al Imam of Al Bukhari. Likewise, the Sunan of Abu Dawood, Sahih Muslim. This is the Aqidah, the belief that the Prophet and his companions were upon, and the, the belief that the companion died upon. So don't ever say Allah is everywhere in his essence. Don't say that Allah is up and his knowledge is everywhere. This is what you worship Allah with. The way the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa asks again, where is Allah? And she said, what? Allah is up. Some of these people wanted to comment on this hadith. They said, eh, the question that the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa asks the lady, the answer given by the lady is not the correct answer. Only that the Messenger of Allah tolerated her because she was a lay person, an ignorant person. So what is the correct answer? They said the correct answer is for you to say Allah is nowhere. How could the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam test somebody with what is not correct? And the person will provide the wrong answer and you welcome that. So this is indirectly attacking the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself. Because of the evil belief that some people have that they do not want to live and they don't mind indirectly abusing the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in order to support their weak belief or their faulty belief. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa Eighty Abana was on your packing in Hobawa. Ona Nipa, Ibiawa, Adadale, Ibi to Sile. And it took me a dadale. Ona and in Tia Kabati Bele to Vefis Salon. Shuman came, but I would not for Annie. A bit soon, Nanabu and Mohammed Solala said, Ali, we pay along all along wo bu approve re en to ba de silon pelu nka ti olorun wo bu wa wole pelu ti ana bu muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam o fi ti se fun wa eniyan sho fu wa si ku re ni bakana eni e ta ba pa ki esi e to suri kunkun ije ni arifu o wa depend lori kiti eni nkan yen ngba mi nkan yen le je nkan ti o gbe yan ku ro Olafifuania Iko ko gbe kan nu awon eran yen salo to lo je ngbati muawiya o mo hakam to wa ri nkan to sele ngbati erubiri yi so fun pe iko ko mo gbe kan nu awon eran yi lo ijo mi ni yen se muawiya o mo hakam o gbo omo biri yen leti ngbati gba leti anu re tun wa se only can to your question to your go to Pulon where you tell it. While a man of Hamas and Lars and Bay, a wish she will be true Pulon already. In Kabai by Lucia. 
And that's one thing that we are going to do. We are going to do it. We are going to do to so, you confirm Muslim, on lui paix. On a vu son nom là, 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 son il a été mis à la hache au nifrode. Au nifrode. Bibadi. Tiomba. Entalek. Benibi. Kini. Biafi. En bas. Toshé. Béoni. Biti. Wogu. Tu es devé. Alors, on va un bel ok à la hache. Bakana. Alors, on va se prendre à la hache. Alors, on va se prendre à la hache. Manfis. Samaï. Ayak. C'est pas bien comme le art. Alors, ni Michel, il peut Il peut Il peut Il Il peut Il Ani kini subhana rabbi al-a'la Nima Allah mwaba ni Oba to shepom lofi gatulo Bakana Allah mwaba ni sep bisma rabbi kat a'la Shafoma Oumko Allah mwaba re tofi gatulo Ati berbero Nino amweri Lati mu al-Quran Ati sunna Don talk as if you Allah mwaba beloke Anadi wata omo bini yiwo Donc, je vais vous montrer que vous avez vous vous That is, when you essence here, my heart is Allez, son âme, son âme. Tu fais la âme, tu fais ce qui est, 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 tu fais ce qui on 
Along with Cosi Ara, Cosara, I want to know, 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 I want ولا عبد حق ابي العبد رب ورب عبد يا ريت شيري من المكلف اوني اولون ما لرو ارو ما لولون تاوالي لي تاله سي بولون تاله ايكو شي دوسي فراو تاله ايكو سي ما ايكو سي ما و يا لو مي نو وان او شي دوسي اي ما كي ما ني فان اي لي بي بوني دي ما با وي ان وا تي جوني لو Tonto Along one end, to the people who are now along along the line, you go up. Shumakara Baliti Babe, if you are not about so you pay the Kotka Fara Berina, call you in the Mahuel Masih. I want to pay Allah, he may say that is another list attack with all of Colony Kaferini. If I take on one sorrow, no relay on Kaferi to back along the Messiah, to Panabi Salon Kaferi. Only to get your dad. Along about you, because of the desire, you come along, walk on, come along, along, and go on. That will be totally long. So, Ben, I want to come and cut and really want to go see along or see me cut, go see look at, go see salad, go see water, go slay. What a lot of our go see me cut. Only come on, all of a lover, in my tongue, but the baby, I found only Tamani Koro in Josie. Você vai chegar só de vai não logo. Então não sai daí, não vai por solo. O leve lá o amigo logo está com a mão frita em casa, nem o amigo por solo. A gente existe. O amigo por solo. Só a gente, o amigo por solo o sindicato can lá o só. O que é isso? O papel então o fim solo. O outro balan, a tio a tio acabou de ir a torcer o papel que ele tinha. Bela o outro papel, o lado bem bem bom bom que bem bom bom que bem ele. But you essence here, I will not back where you can do that here. What to ban me? Go live here. Go live here. She bought a bag for the sale. Go on. Talk for us. We soon know. Oh, let's see long about. I feel go back where you go. Go back where you go. Go long about. Be okay. It's a papa. The man is there. I can't go. Go go go. Hello. You talk about that here. Come on, fear. Da da le. Me be a diokan. Come on, fear. See long. Ba she bought a fear. Da a da da le. Ni biaruenu ati ushuri kiri kiara silong. Abang abang Subhanahu wa Taala ki ushanu aku fiasa ni fakohan desi ujana. Subhanahu kala huma bihamdi kasharan la ilah ilant as takfur kau tuwilik.